Hello all, today we are going to see about policy iteration algorithm. This is reinforcement lecture 2. Okay, so what is policy iteration? Policy iteration is an algorithm which helps to learn the optimal policy. To understand what is policy and the other foundations about uh, reinforcement learning, I would suggest to go back and uh, uh, see the previous uh, video about the introduction to reinforcement learning. Okay, so we are going to solve a scenario and uh, we are going to apply policy iteration algorithm to find the optimal policy. The scenario is this, a pirate ship is anchored in an island. It can reach home safely and it can only take two directions. Either uh, a north direction it can take at uh, each time step. So at each time step it can either take uh, north or south. Okay, so there are possible routes uh, given. Uh, it can either go to a uh, gold island which is nearby and collect the gold and then it can go home. So these are the directions it can take if at all it uh, wants to go to the gold island. If at all it wants to go to the silver island, there is a silver island also nearby and it can collect the silver and can go to home. So these are the directions uh, uh, if it wants to go to silver. It has to go to uh, south, it has to move towards south and then to north or it can opt to straight away go to the home. Why? Because the third option is uh, given why because like there are two dangers involved in the first two routes. So near the uh, gold island, so there's a Bermuda Triangle. So there's a possibility of uh, getting stuck with a Bermuda Triangle. And if it opts to go to the Silver Island, it can, uh, it can get stuck up with the prison. There's a prison. So these are the two dangers. But uh, these two dangers can be um, encountered or not encountered. So what could be the best uh, directions it can take at each, each and every time step so that it can uh, reach home safely. So what is the uh, with maximum possible benefits of course. So that is what we are going to um, explore today using policy iteration. Okay and there is an uncertainty a small uncertainty involved in the um, ship direction. So whenever uh, the, uh, because of the broken uh, compass it has. So whenever the uh, the ship wants to move to the north, it, it will not always uh, move to the north. So it is only pointed possibility, pointed probability that it will move to the north and there is a point to probability that it can move to the south as well. So this is a similar uh, case for uh, when it wants to move to the south. So when it wants to move to the south, it moves to the south with pointed probability and uh, it moves to the, there's a possibility of probability of uh, moving to the north uh, with uh, probability value 0.2. So we'll understand all this better when we actually look into the problem. So these are the states and rewards. Uh, what it means is that uh, what are the possible uh, action, the places it can reach. So they're all uh, um, denoted as represented as states. Okay, so S1 is the state where it is actually in. So that is S1 and the rewards. The rewards are nothing but like uh, what is the reward that it can uh, actually uh, take when it is at the current state. That's what it means. So it is zero. So at the start state, there's no reward, it is zero. Okay, so the S2 is nothing but the island. The, this state is nothing but when it uh, reaches the gold island. So and the reward it gets when it reaches the gold island is always uh, plus two. And S3 is the silver island. The silver island, whenever it reaches the silver island, it is going to get the reward plus one. And S4, S4 is here. So S4 is the Bermuda Triangle and it is an, uh, I mean, uh, um, uh, unfortunate uh, state. So it, there's a negative reward there. So it is not supposed to land there. So it gets the reward minus two whenever it reaches the Bermuda Triangle. And S5 is the actual destination it has to reach. And the S5, uh, when it reaches the S5, it gets uh, a plus one reward. And S6 is the prison, the prison in the island. So it gets a negative. So that's also an unfortunate uh, um, state. So a minus 0.5. So there's a negative reward. So whenever it reaches there. So this is the states we have and the rewards uh, we can collect when we reach those uh, respective state. Okay, so we were talking about the uncertainties in the directions. So that, that's, those uncertainties are the transition probabilities. We'll understand this. 
so we said we uh, there are two actions a ship can take from each and every state right so it can be either north or the south okay so uh, the, we'll understand this matrix north matrix first so what it means is that from s1 uh, obviously from s1 to s1 is going to be zero s2 is, uh, to s2 is going to be zero so because the it's not going to trans transit from the state where it is currently in to the same state so that's what it means so zero means so when it wants to transit from one uh, s1 state to s2 and it wants to take the action north so we can uh, refer to this picture s1 when it takes north actually it lands in s2 right so the probability is 0.8 but because of the uh, unfortunate condition so uncertain condition so there is point two probability also involved when it actually wants to move to north it can move to south so what is south s3 right so the, there is a least probability so when it wants to move to north so the uh, possibility of uh, yeah, from s1 landing to s2 is 0.8 and there is a, pos a, a point to probability uh, that it can move to S3 as well because um, there is an uncertainty when it wants to move to north it can also uh, by, uh, by mistake it can move to the south that's what this means fine so similarly there are uh, numbers here and from S1 to S4 uh, there is no uh, viability so there is no uh, uh, probability there so we are only bothered about the next state okay so from s1 we can only reach s2 and s3 so that's why we have filled these values fine from s2 uh, from s2 if you look at it here so from s2 if we take north direction we go to the s4 right so there is a 0.8 probability but even when we decide to go for north there is a possibility that by mistake we can uh, move in the south okay so that possibility is least 0.8 okay so from s2 there is no viability to go to uh, s6 so it's zero so similarly from s3 if you look at it from s3 um, we can uh, take uh, when we take north we actually land in s5 so that's 0.8 probability s3 to s5 and there's a point to probability that we can also take the south direction uh, actually when we take north direction that is s6 that is 0.2 from S4, S5 and X6, we don't uh, um, transit, we don't take any action further. So all these probabilities are zero. Similarly, this is uh, same for north action. So you'll also understand this. So from S1 to S2, from S1 to S2, so that's only 0.2 probability that it can, uh, because we want to go to south. That's what, uh, there's a subtle difference. So here we wanted to go to the north, okay but there is a uh, possibility that uh, we can also move to the south that's what it means here we want to take an action from s1 here actually uh, here it is north okay so but we may also want to take a south action later so what happens so from s1 if we want to take a south action so then that probability is 0.2 so when it takes the north uh, 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 south action so uh, it uh, uh, lands in uh, s3 so that probability is appointed because we wanted to take the south but we may also take north um, action so that probably when we take north we land in s2 so that is 0.2 so these are interchanged that's what it under, uh, it means right similarly so these values are also interchanged so here it was 0.8 and here it is 0.2. Here it is 0.2 and here it is 0.8. Okay, so that's about the state uh, probability, uh, transition probability matrix for each and every action. So this means from one state, what is the probability that uh, to move from one state to another um, when we take a particular action? The actions are nothing but taking a north direction, taking a south direction. Okay, so we haven't started the problem. Uh, we haven't uh, started working out like how to arrive at the optimal policy. We learn in steps. Okay, the, these are the three steps uh, we are going to see. We'll um, the state transition diagrams and the routes are all given, but actually the ship does not know. So that's the crux. The ship does not know um, to how to reach the um, home uh, with uh, safely. 
so that is not known to the ship so the ship has to discover the best possible route so that's what uh, we are going to see so initialize random policy since we do not know what direction we have to take from each and every state we'll just uh, blindfoldedly we'll take in uh, a random policy north 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 or north no north south south we can take any policy and we'll evaluate the policy using bellman equation okay so this is nothing but what this says is that so value of the state okay so we have a policy so whenever we have a policy we'll have to evaluate that policy how do we evaluate it policy means the action so from s1 we take north and we transit to some other state so when we are transiting from one state to another what happens to the uh, current value of the state that's what we are bothered in bothered about how, that's how we evaluate the policy so let let's see this is uh, s1 so s1 uh, this is s1 and v s dash is s2 for instance i'm talking about what happens to the value of s1 when we move from s1 to yeah, s2 that's what uh, that's how this should be understood so we have to calculate the values okay so what bellman equation says is that this is how we are supposed to calculate the value we are supposed to calculate add the reward first uh, the initial reward so for instance the starting state s1 the reward is uh, 0 whereas for the gold island it was plus 2 so those are the rewards for the um, so for if you are calculating the value of the s1 then this r of s is going to be 0 okay this discount factor is the uh, factor uh, v set so let's take it as to be uh, 1 so this uh, varies from 0 to 1 normally so we'll take this as 1 so we'll not worry about the ignore max uh, as of now so what we will do is that so this s dash is nothing but this s is s1 and s dash is the state to which we are transiting that is s2 s2 is the s dash and what is the um, reward that uh, what is the probability this is the probability probability this probability we have to uh, take it from the state transition matrix don't worry we will understand this better when we actually uh, work with the numerical uh, values but as of now we can understand this way this probability values are taken from so what happens what is the probability that when you uh, transit from s1 to s2 by taking this pi of s means policy by taking the north action or the south action multiplied by what is the value of the s2 state at that point of time when you're calculating okay so that is how uh, the we'll evaluate the policy and we will do this for all the states and then we'll improve the uh, policy improvement so we'll uh, we'll uh, that's where this max uh, takes uh, max uh, comes into the picture so we will do uh, calculate these values for north and south whichever gives the maximum value we will take that uh, direction at each and every uh, step okay so policy improvement is nothing but the arc max so that is uh, nothing but like whichever uh, uh, values get uh, giving the a uh, best action that value we will take so we'll all understand and uh, we'll understand better as and when we move on we need not worry at this point of time what we will do is that we will iterate uh, this step 2 and step 3 again and again and again we will uh, reevaluate the values of uh, all the states and we will uh, uh, improve the policy at each and every step depending upon the values of the states and then uh, we will uh, when the converges when the policy converges meaning like there is no not going to be any uh, further changes at that point we will stop so that is uh, hence the name policy iteration so we'll go to the uh, numerical problem okay so let us uh, so initially randomize the policy uh, so let's uh, um, uh, um, decide that uh, we will take only north direction because the ship does not know in, in initially where it has to though there are directions given here but this is not known to the ship so what we will do is that we will initialize some random policy this is a bad policy or uh, this is this may be a bad policy this may be a, a good policy we do not know at this point of time we have to evaluate the policy and we have to make improvement if necessary so initial policy is going to be n n n n there are six n's why because uh, for each and this has to be understood uh, uh, correctly this means that the from s1 
the of the desired direction is north that's what this says this policy says the second n states that from s2 it's desired to take north so from s3 it is desired to take uh, north why because from each and every state i mean for s1 s2 s3 you can either take north or south so this is what uh, these n means so this represent the actions taken at each and every state this has to be uh, understood correctly so we can remove the last three n's why because uh, uh, we don't uh, have any actions uh, actually from s4 s5 and s6 so the initial policy uh, shrinks to this n n n so uh, that means we can take north direction from uh, s1 north direction from s2 north direction from s3 this is the initial policy we will we have taken we will see how uh, good this policy is um, uh, good uh, this policy or bad uh, this policy or we can uh, improve this policy we'll all uh, we can see that so the initial values of all the states is going to be zero so this v of s is going to be a uh, zero initially because so this uh, we do not know anything so we are uh, giving values to zero and the discount factor this gamma this gamma is going to be uh, one so this is the assumptions we have so now we will calculate the uh, um, policy evaluation we will do the policy evaluation so i'll first uh, um, do the example so how we got this zero how we got this zero in the sense uh, so um, the reward so we'll uh, do this for state uh, s1 so uh, this is for s1 so what is the reward that we collect at s1 that is zero plus discount factor is uh, one and uh, uh, while we are evaluating the policy we are not supposed to uh, consider this max we have to uh, do for all the actions since this v s dash we said the initial values are all uh, zero for all the uh, states so this is going to be zero so this is uh, the v s dash is going to be zero for all the states so what happens this uh, will be zero for uh, yeah so this is uh, zero the v s dash is going to be zero for all the cases so at the first iteration the value of the states would be actually the um, the rewards of the particular states that's what we see here so value of uh, s1 is 0 why because the reward is 0 so value of s2 is 2 why because the reward is uh, plus 2 similarly for s3 is uh, 1 and uh, s4 is minus 2 s5 is 1 and uh, s6 is minus 0.5 so this is the value uh, we got for all the states at first iteration let us see if it gets better we are done with policy evaluation in the first iteration we'll see how we can improve this uh, policy okay so to improve this policy what we are going to do is that we are going to take this uh, equation and we are going to calculate the value of the state for taking each and every action so that means what happens to the value of the state when it takes a north action what happens to the value of the state s1 when it takes the south action that's how it should be understood and we'll only uh, the policy uh, we'll only take the consider the maximum that's what this argument maximum means so the initially our policy was to take always north so from s1 s2 s3 it, it was all, always north let's see if it is getting improved or updated okay so we'll uh, calculate the value of the uh, uh, state by taking a north action using this equation for north this is the state uh, transition uh, matrix so when from s2 when it is actually transiting to north it lands in s2 uh, from s1 i'm sorry from s1 uh, when it takes the north action it lands in s2 Fra when it takes a south it lands in s3 s2 is the gold island and s3 is the silver island okay so now uh, for when it takes north it, it is 0.8 probability that it it goes to s2 okay uh, and there is also point to probability involved that uh, it can go to s3 by taking the south that's what uh, it says so it is nothing but this uh, probability this is the same so this this should be understood as what is the probability that um, the transition takes place from one state to another s1 to 
another state by taking a particular action. That's how it should be understood as multiplied by the value of those particular, the respective uh, uh, state to which it is going to move. For instance, if it is going to move from S1 to S2, this Vs dash is nothing but the value of S2. So that's what we are doing here. So and we have to sum, 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 sum uh, all the possibilities. So we will understand this. This point it com, uh, comes from, so this point it is nothing but the probability. So this uh, probability of moving from S1 to S2 when we take north action. So that is point 8. We got this from state transition matrix. S1 to S2 is point 8 multiplied by V S dash nothing but the value of the S2 state. What is the value of the S2 state? In the first iteration, we got the values of the states to be the rewards of the states itself because we had initially initialized to be zero and during the policy evaluation, it became the value of the rewards itself, but it is not going to be always the case. It will be updated. The values will get updated in the next iteration. But as of now, the values of the states is equal to the values of the rewards in the first iteration. So this uh, V S dash for V uh, S2 is point, uh, 2. So why? Because the gold island has the value 2 plus and whenever it wants to go for now, there is a probability point of probability that it will go to south also. So what is the south? So when it moves to south, it lands in S3. So point 2 into the V S dash here is the value of this S3 state. What is the value of the S3 state is 1. So that comes to 1.8. Similarly, we'll do what happens when we, uh, what happens to the value of the state S1 when we take the action south. Okay, so value of the uh, state S1 uh, when we take the action south is nothing but you see the probability is getting interchanged. These values are going to change, uh, remain the same. So when it takes south, it lands in uh, S3. Okay, but the probability of uh, landing in S3 is 0.8. The value is same. But when it takes south, the probability of uh, uh, it reaching in S2, taking the north direction is 0.2 multiplied by the value of S2. So we got this value. So we uh, we need only the maximum action. So what? who gave the maximum value? North gave the maximum value. So we are fixing it with north. So the initially the action, uh, preferred action from uh, S1 was north and now also it is north. Okay. So we'll understand for uh, S2 state. So for S2, we are going to calculate the value of the S2 state for each and every action possible. For North action, we'll understand. So what is the value of the state S2 when we take the North action? From S2, when we take the North action, we land in S4. Okay, so the S4 is the Bermuda Triangle. And uh, when we take South, we land in the destination. Okay, so then the reward is uh, plus one. Okay, so when we uh, take north, the pointed with pointed probability, so we, you can also see it here. So that's pointed probability, uh, it moves to S4 and point to probability, it moves to S5. So that is the point of probability, it uh, goes to south. Okay, so that's what we have done. Point 0.8 into minus 2. This minus 2 is the value of the Bermuda Triangle state. So it is right now minus 2, the reward itself, plus 0.2. Uh, is the probability that it moves to this uh, this probability I'm talking about and S5 multiply the value of the destination is uh, 1. That is the reward itself. That comes to minus 1.4. Similarly for south we can understand. So when it wants to take the south action so these probabilities get uh, interchanged. So this is for uh, Bermuda Triangle the value is minus 2 but the probability that from uh, S2 uh, it uh, lands in Bermuda Triangle is 0.2 because it wants a south action. Okay, and plus uh, 0.8 uh, probability it goes to the destination whose value is 1. It is um, though it adds up to 0.4. So who's giving the maximum action? It is south. Initially we, we it was north, but uh, it is now desired to be south. If you look closer uh, closely look at this diagram. South is what is uh, desired direction, right? Because uh, south um, leads the ship to the destination itself. That's what we want. Okay, so um, so we are uh, moving the right direction. That's what I meant. So uh, we are updating the policy from north to south. So similarly, we'll calculate the value of the state S3 for both the actions. From S3, what happens is that uh, when we take north, 
we when we take north we reach the destination when we take south uh, we reach the prison okay so for north action point eight probability we take uh, the we reach the destination whose value is one and also there is a point two probability that we'll reach the prison whose value is minus point five it adds up to point seven similarly we want to take south so these probabilities will interchange so the point two probability uh, it reaches the destination plus pointed probability it reaches the uh, prison okay so point 2 so who is still giving the maximum value north so from n n n we are uh, improving the policy updating the policy that n s n that's mean that means from s1 state it is preferred to take the north direction from s2 state it is preferred to take the south direction and s3 state it is preferred to take the north direction again so this is the status as far as the first uh, iteration is concerned let's see if it is getting improved further now we are going to see uh, how we can improve the values of the states in the second iteration so it's going to be simple uh, so uh, the to calculate the value of the states we have to refer to the equation bellman equation uh, shown, shown in uh, slide 5 so i'll just uh, write it so it's nothing but uh, uh the value of uh, state is nothing but the reward of that state plus uh, discount factor multiplied by the summation of the probabilities uh, we get from uh, um, transiting from s taking a particular action multiplied by v of s dash so this is what so discount factor is going to be 1 and the rewards the rewards were were given initially they they will not change the value of the states will only change at each and every iteration but the rewards will not change the rewards for the starting state was uh, zero and uh, the rewards for uh, um, to when we reach the island when uh, gold island was two and silver island was one and uh, the destination is one and uh, uh, there was a negative reward when we land in uh, a bermuda triangle and for prison as well so those will not change so we'll now uh, calculate uh, for uh, s1 how did we arrive at this so for uh, um, this is nothing but the reward the reward was 0 plus 1 multiplied by so this um, this is nothing but uh, these two so when we add uh, these two uh, so we get this okay so that's what uh, shown here so 0 uh, plus uh, this is 1 uh, so we are ignoring that when we add all these values that's how we are updating the value of the states uh, during the policy evaluation step so that's how we got this 3 uh, so 0 uh, is the reward plus the values uh, we got for each and every action so this equation and we got 3 and for s2 uh, the same we are doing so from uh, s2 is nothing but the reward was 2 uh, uh, right so that's why we have 2 uh, and uh, we are summing up all the values we got for each and every states in the earlier step then we got this one similarly for s3 s3 the reward is 1 1 plus and we are adding up these two and we got 1.5 so now the node values are updated right so this is going to uh, this is this is what uh, is going to help us uh, to uh, pick up the uh, improve the policy improve the um, and um, um, uh, take us in the right direction so now the node values uh, the values of the states are updated okay so we are going to improve the policy in the second iteration so uh, we are uh, the, the these are the values uh, updated uh, for each and every states we have so we'll do the same thing that we did in first iteration so for uh, action north that we have from s1 we are still not convinced so which is the best policy so we are doing for both the action so from s1 what happens when we take the north direction from s1 when we take north we actually land in s2 with 0.8 probability uh, so uh, the s2 value is 1 so 0.8 into 1 but there is also a point of probability that we will move to south uh, take the south action so we will move to s3 so s3 value is 1.5 that's how we we have uh, done so that comes to 1.1 similarly when we take south action so these probabilities will get interchanged so the s2 probability will be 0.2 multiplied this is s2 value and the probability for s3 will increase that is 0.8 multiplied by its value s3 that is 1.4 so who's giving the maximum uh, south is giving the maximum so now it was previously uh, north now it is updated as south so that's what so from s1 it is desired to go in the south direction instead of the 
north direction it is not preferred to go to the gold island instead of that it is uh, preferred to go to the silver island so that's what uh, this uh, says okay so similarly we have done for s2 for uh, uh, s2 what is the uh, so when we take north action with uh, we land in uh, uh, this bermuda triangles that is point 8 and whose value is uh, minus 2 and then when we take south we reach a destination whose value is 1 so that is 0.4 so still south is giving the maximum value so we uh, opt south similarly we take for s3 from s3 uh, we uh, when we take north uh, we land in s5 that is destination whose value is 1 so 0.8 into 1 plus 0.2 uh, probability we might also go to the prison so 0.2 into whose value is uh, s5 right so s5 uh, um, 0.2 into uh, 1 so yeah, so north is 1.2 into uh, 0.5. So this is S6, I'm sorry. So this is uh, minus 0.5. And then uh, when we take south, so these probability values will get interchange. With 0.2 probability, it reaches a destination. With 0.8 probability, it reaches the prison. So that is uh, minus 0.2. Still north is giving the uh, best uh, action. So the updated policy becomes south, south, north. So in the second iteration from north, south, uh, no, um, north we are we have come to south south north similarly we'll do the same for uh, uh, a policy evaluation for uh, uh, third iteration as well so with the earlier calculated values of uh, each and every state we are adding all the rewards uh, plus the uh, these two states and we are updating the value of the states it is the same process as we did in the second iteration Okay, now we are uh, going to uh, see if any improvement can be done for in the third iteration. So, um, we are going to uh, calculate the values of the states um, for each and every action as we did uh, in the second iteration. But still, uh, the policy remains to be the same as we got in the second iteration. So, what it means is that it is always desirable to take the south uh, action from S1 and it is always desirable to take the south action from S2 so that it can always move to the destination. So S5 is the destination, right? And from S3, it is always go to the north. That means that is also leading to the uh, destination. So this is the optimal policy for each and every state. So that's how this should be uh, um, understood as. So we have attained the convergence. So it's not uh, changing. So we can stop at this point of time and we have uh, uh, arrived at the optimal policy we wanted. So this is about the uh, policy iteration algorithm which helps us to um, find the optimal policy at for each and every uh, state. This is a reference from which I have taken this problem and solution as well. So this, uh, this is about the policy iteration algorithm. Thank you.